at the Royal Bournemouth Hospital talking to uh, various people here who have um, <laughs> enjoyed and endured the last 18 months. We can talk to Jenny House, first of all, here, who's a nurse manager for University Hospitals Dorset. Uh, Jenny, good morning. Good morning, and how are you? Very well, very lovely to see you. Can I ask an impertinent question? How long have you been with the NHS? Since 1970, and I started my training in 1965 in the RAF. Good Lord. Um, 75 next March. Well, uh, happy birthday for next March. Happy birthday to the NHS for today. Uh, I, I don't know, how, how big does the 5th of July kind of loom in your calendar well, when you celebrate the NHS's birthday? Well, for me, it's, it was very important because when I was born, I was born with a hip uh, dysplasia. And, of course, parents had to pay to go and see a doctor in those days. So my parents were very grateful when the NHS started in 1948 and they had to go and pay to see a consultant which was 10 shillings 50p. Yeah, 50p. And my dad only earned two pound a week. So that was a lot of money. And when they actually took me in to see the consultant, he shouted at them and said, where have you been? This child is now going to be crippled for the rest of our life. But fortunately, I had an operation. Five years later, I was able to walk, and that was cool. Excellent. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, and did so I'm very grateful for the NHS, as my parents were. Yeah. Did, did that, do you think, you know, play into you deciding to come and work for it? Oh, yes. That, uh, because I spent so long in hospital over my early years, there was nothing else I wanted to be other than a nurse. I just, just never thought of anything else. Just wanted to be a nurse. Well, then uh, that feeds in a little to... I guess the reason that we're here today talking about the last 18 months of pandemic because never having wanted to do anything else but be a nurse the pandemic comes along and am I right in saying that it, it briefly stopped you being oh, a nurse? Absolutely I was not allowed to work on the front line because maybe because of my age so I was actually put into our human resources department and I worked managing the Covid helpline which was great to I learned a lot very, very quickly, I have to say. Um, but I was there to advise staff as to what they could do, how they could shield, how, what they needed to do to, um, to self-isolate. So I did that from March until August. And then I came back to my proper job, which is safeguarding. And then in December, I was asked if I would, inverted commas, help to do the mass vaccination. And in the end, I worked very closely with one of the directors and I managed the mass vaccination programme for the Trust. Yes, it has you on my scripts here as Jabba Jenny. <laughs> and I thought it's either because she talks a lot or because of something to do no. with vaccinations. And maybe it's both. I think it's both. And because, <laughs> I, and because I'm truly Welsh, I know how to talk. <laughs> I was going to say, I've got you down Cardiff in my head. No, no, Merthyr Tidville. Oh, fine, all right. Next door to Nye Bevan, Ebby Vale. Right, right. Um, uh, okay, and, and I mean, talk, tell me a little bit about your, your experience of being on that mass vaccination program because uh, the emotions, the good emotions you must have seen. It was, people were so thankful, so grateful that we was, had set up this program. It was hard work. We kicked it off on a Tuesday afternoon, not really knowing what we were doing, but by Saturday we knew what we were doing. And it was a really good team of people that had been repurposed from their current jobs so we developed a team very very quickly there was no hierarchy we were all in it together but the people that came through the door not just UHD staff because we obviously did BCP and care home they were so grateful that we were there for them and it came back again when we gave them their second doses and we sort of said oh hello how are you and they were again very very grateful that we were there for them it was a joy to do it. That's so lovely to hear. Uh, somebody who's experienced that joy as well recently. Let me bring in BJ Waltho, who's here with us as well. It's very lovely to meet you, BJ. We've spoken on the show so many times previously. I don't have your full job title in front of me. So t for, for people who don't know, uh, who are you? So um, my name is BJ Walther. I'm Associate Director of Operations. So I'm responsible for the flow of patients throughout the hospital, but I am a nurse by profession. I'm 10 years less than Jenny. So but between us, we've done 102 years of nursing, um, but she, I've got 10 years to catch up on her. I, I feel like I should genuflect and maybe I will <laughs> after we, we finish uh, chatting. Uh, uh, and I say you've sort of seen this uh, outpouring of gratitude recently. You were at SW19 at Wimbledon last oh, Monday yeah. in that um, standing ovation. So for people who you haven't seen this just tell me what happens so um we i'm a member of the royal college of nursing and um i'm uh, chair of congress for the royal college of nursing and the royal college of nursing had two seats offered to them in the royal box for um gratitude of people who've done the work during the pandemic and 
two of us in uh, uh, were invited to go that have been involved in frontline um, work during COVID and were invited to the Royal Box and it was full. There was Duke of Kent, but everybody else in there were ordinary nurses, doctors, the people who inv invented the um, Oxford um, AstraZeneca um, vaccine, people like that. We were treated like absolute royalty. It felt like I'd won the George Cross being there that day it was we it was fantastic and fantastic tennis of course yeah very very humbling but the gratefulness as jenny was saying from people who were so appreciative of what we've done because we have been through the mill it's been really really hard work the last 18 months and we're all pretty tired but that does make you feel very happy yes uh, i only have sympathies for you that had to sit next to jeffrey walker all day on on that monday because i i know him well and uh uh, he'll chat. Um, uh, and what about just uh, finally the, the, the George uh, Medal Award today from Her Majesty the Queen, just an, another bit of gratitude? I am really, really grateful, but the people I want, uh, I, we get our appreciation from our, uh, from our patients. And that's, you know, as long as we've done well by our patients and patients have got, have, and, you know, got the vaccination or they've had good care. I, the George Cross is wonderful, but a patient going home, as you will have seen from the coverage, is what really makes us proud because it's been, as I say, a very, very tough 18 months.